Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about seventh problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. Let us see the question first. X Limited purchased a machine on 1st January 2002 for 1,16,000 rupees and spent 4,000 rupees for installation. On 1st July 2002, another machine costing 40,000 was purchased. On 1st January 2004, the machine purchased on 1st January 2002 was sold for 57,200 rupees and a new machine was purchased for 80,000 rupees and installed on the same day by paying 20,000 rupees. Show the machinery account charging depreciation at the rate of 10% on return down value method means diminishing balance method is asking for 4 years. Assume the books are closed every year on 31st December. So calendar year they are following as their accounting year. See this is a solution. Missionary account. Date particular amount. Date particular amount. First what happened? On 1st January 2002 they purchased one asset for 1,16,000 rupees and they spent 4,000 rupees for installation. On 1st July 2002 means in same year Another machine costing 40,000 was purchased. So till here we will see. When they buy the asset, on debit side we should show now. 1st January 2002, two bank account 1,16,000. And on the same day, to install this asset, they spent 4,000 rupees. For that also write down the same day and two bank account 4,000 rupees. So first asset total cost is 1,16,000 plus 4,000, 1,20,000. And in the same year, on 1st July, they purchased another asset. So again, write down two bank account, 40,000. So two assets we have. First missionary cost, 1,20,000. Second missionary cost, 40,000. They are following calendar year now. Therefore, year end is 31st December 2002. On that day, two assets are there. So on these two assets, we have to provide depreciation by depreciation account on credit side. First machine cost is 1,20,000. On that, in question is giving rate of depreciation as 10%. So into 10 by 100, months are not necessary because this first asset is purchased on 1st January, year starting. So from 1st January to 31st December, 12 months we used. Therefore, months are not necessary. First asset depreciation is 12,000. Second asset cost is 40,000. Depreciation rate 10%. For how many months? We purchase the second asset on 1st July. So from July to December. July, August, September, October, November, December. Total 6 months we used. Therefore, 40,000 into 10 by 100 into 6 by 12. 2,000. Two depreciations total in outer column. 14,000 rupees. And on the same day, find out the balance. Debit total 1,60,000 minus credit amount 14,000 is equal to 1,46,000. Two sets highest total 1,60,000, 1,60,000. So first year is completed. Come to second year. Second year, this balance carried down amount you have to bring on debit side. Date is next date of this date. 1st January 2003. Two balance brought down 1,46,000. And in second year also, there is no additional purchase, there is no sale. So same, these two assets are continuing till the end. End of the year, 31st December 2003, provide depreciation on these two assets. So first asset is used for full year. Second asset also is used for full year. No? So on both assets for 12 months, we have to provide depreciation. And don't forget, this is return down value method. The feature of this method is every year on opening balance of the asset, we should calculate depreciation. In first year, opening balance of first asset is 1,20,000. Second asset opening balance is 40,000. So cost and opening balances both are same. But in second year, opening balance of first asset, opening balance of second asset. Separately, we should calculate. If it is fixed installment method, every year we calculate depreciation on original cost of the asset. But this is return down value method, no? opening balances we need. So first asset opening balance we will calculate in inner column. 
see first asset cost is 1 lakh 20000 and in 2002 year first asset depreciation is 12000 so first asset cost 1 lakh 20000 minus depreciation 12000 is equal to 1 lakh 8000 this 1 lakh 46000 is the opening balance of two assets now but we need opening balance of first asset only therefore separately we are calculating so 1 lakh 20000 first asset cost minus first asset depreciation 12000 is equal to 1 lakh 8000 in this value first asset opening balance is 1 lakh 8000 on that 10% is 10800 next second asset second asset cost is 40000 in 2002 second asset depreciation is 2000 so 40000 minus 2000 is equal 38000 this is the opening balance of second asset in 2003 year in 40 amount second asset opening balance is 38000 on that 10% depreciation is 3800 total in outer column 14600 you may get one doubt so instead of calculating these two depreciation separately can't we directly calculate 10 percent on 1,46,000? Yes, you can. So on 1,46,000, directly 10 percent when you calculate, then 14,600 comes now. In that case, why separately I am calculating? Because here in 2004 year, this first asset is sold now. So in that sale, while calculating profit or loss, Again, we need a first asset depreciation separately. So, why to calculate in working notes again? That is why in account only I am calculating depreciation separately. Assume that no assets are sold. In that case, profit or loss calculation is not required now. Then, on this value directly you can calculate depreciation. So, two assets depreciation in outer column 14,600. Finally, balance carried down. Debit total 1,46,000 minus credit amount 14,600 is equal to 1,31,400. Further date is year last date by balance carried down. Two sides highest total 1,46,000, 1,46,000. Now up to 2004 is asking. Therefore bring this balance here on debit side. Next date to this date 1st January 2004. Two balance brought down 1,31,400 and in 2004 year what happened? See the question. On 1st January 2004, the machine purchased on 1st January 2002 was sold for 57,200 and a new machine was purchased for 80,000 and installed on the same date by paying 20,000. So here what happened is in 2004 year, first asset, first asset cost is 1,16,000 plus 4,000, 1,20,000. That asset is sold. And another asset is purchased for 80,000 and installation charges 20,000. Means this is a new asset cost is 80,000 plus 20,000, 1 lakh rupees. New asset is purchased now. Purchase date is 1st January 2004, year starting date only. On that day, again write down to bank account 80,000. And on this new asset installation charges are there 20,000. For that also write down the same. Date is same. Here also to bank account 20,000. Now first asset is sold. First this sales information we will show. When it is sold year starting date only 1st January 2004. Credit side by bank account. They sold it for 57,200 given in the question. And in 2004 year, starting date only they sold. Therefore, in 2004 year, on this sold asset, we need not to provide any depreciation. Because only for one day we don't provide depreciation now. So directly profit or loss we have to calculate in working notes. Calculation of profit or loss in sale of admission. Cost, first asset. Cost is 1,16,000 plus 4,000, 1,20,000 now. Take that value minus total depreciation in 2002 year. This is a 1 lakh 20 thousand worth asset depreciation is 12,000. In 2003 year, 
this one lakh twenty thousand worth asset depreciation is ten thousand eight hundred. And in two thousand four year, we need not to show the depreciation now because only for one day we used these two values twelve thousand ten thousand eight hundred. We should take here twelve thousand ten thousand eight hundred total twenty two thousand eight hundred. Now cost minus total depreciation is equal ninety seven thousand two hundred book value. Now ninety seven thousand two hundred worth of set is sold for fifty seven thousand two hundred. Means they sold for less. Therefore there is a loss. There is a loss of forty thousand rupees. This loss amount you have to show in the asset account. We said if profit comes debit side, if loss comes credit side. So show on credit side. When loss comes, when we sell on that day only. Therefore, for this loss, date is same, first January two thousand four sale date, and we have to transfer this loss to profit and loss account. Therefore, for loss write down by profit and loss account forty thousand. So sold asset information we have written. Now come to remaining assets. On thirty first December two thousand four, second asset is with us forty thousand worth asset. And this a new asset, one lakh worth asset. On these two separately, we have to calculate depreciation. Second asset, forty thousand worth asset. Opening balance in two thousand four year we need because this is diminishing balance method. No, every year on opening balances only we should calculate depreciation. Two thousand three year opening balance is thirty eight thousand, and two thousand three year depreciation is three thousand eight hundred. First in inner column. From thirty-eight thousand, three thousand eight hundred. When you subtract, thirty-four thousand two hundred is coming. So in two thousand four year on opening date, the opening balance of second asset is thirty-four thousand two hundred. On that full year, we use this asset because it is not sold. Therefore, at the rate of ten percent per annum, months are not required because full year we used. Depreciation is three thousand four twenty. This forty thousand worth asset depreciation in two thousand four is three thousand four twenty, and this new asset depreciation continuation I am showing in sec next page. New asset cost is one lakh rupees. Third asset this is that is also purchased on first January now full year we used therefore at the rate of ten percent months are not required ten thousand. This is a forty thousand worth asset depreciation three thousand four twenty. New asset depreciation ten thousand, two amounts total in outer column thirteen thousand four twenty. Then finally show the balance carried down. Debit total, this three amounts total minus credit amounts is equal one lakh twenty thousand seven eighty. For that year last date thirty first December two thousand four by balance carried down. Two side highest total debit total. Two lakh thirty one thousand four hundred. Two lakh thirty one thousand four hundred. And in question is asking us to prepare missionary account up to two thousand five. So next year also we have to continue. Next year starting date. Next date of this date. First January two thousand five. Bring the balance on debit side. Two balance brought down. Amount this amount one lakh twenty thousand seven eighty. And in two thousand five year last date. We have two assets now. Second asset forty thousand worth asset, and third asset one lakh worth asset. So in two thousand five there is no additional purchase, there is no sale. Therefore, on these two assets we have to provide the depreciation, and see this value one lakh twenty thousand seven eighty. This is the opening balance of these two assets on first January two thousand five. In diminishing balance method, on opening balances only we have to calculate depreciation now. So first asset opening balance, second asset opening balance, total is this, and these two assets are used for full year in two thousand five. Therefore, calculating depreciation separately and adding is not necessary. So directly on this value we can calculate ten percent depreciation. One lakh twenty thousand seven eighty into ten by hundred is equal twelve thousand seventy eight rupees. In this depreciation, second asset depreciation, third asset depreciation, both are there. Finally, balance carried down. So debit total one lakh twenty thousand seven eighty minus credit amount twelve thousand seventy eight is equal to one lakh eight thousand seven hundred two. 
now up to 2005 only as no so till here we prepared and for next year you bring the balance because account is showing balance so date is 1st january 2006 this amount debit side two balance brought down 108702 so this is the end of present problem take a screenshot of this this is first page this is second page loss 40000 so hope this video is helpful to you thank you